Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Thank you so much for joining me for my Happy Friday series, using what's in our stash. Well, today I'm going to use a stamp set for my stash, and it's an older one, it's a couple years old. But it's from Hero Arts, and it's the Color Layering Happy Day Flower Stamp Set. It has some really pretty flowers in there, and uh, really unique flowers, so I'm going to use that. And we're jumping in and getting started. I'm taking two of my dies, and they're just just slightly smaller than a standard size card. And I'm going to use some white card stock and cut two panels out. And then we're going to jump in and get starting with some stamping. I'm taking the larger of the panel, and I'm going to zoom in here. Okay. And then this flower or stamp set has a, a real funky looking flower that I kind of really like because it's so unique looking. It doesn't have petals, it has like strings. <laughs> so I thought I'd use that. And I, for all the inks that I'm using today, I'm using my little Hero Hues. Love these little ink cubes. And so I'm going to start off by using the Pale Tomato. And we're just going to stamp the little flower images at a diagonal. And I'm just stamping where I think the valley will, will have these peeking out. So kind of going at a straight diagonal line along the, the panel, just stamping the flowers. And, and I think I think five will do it. I wanted to do one more, but that's just me. Sometimes I have a tendency to just go overboard. <laughs> so I quit at five. And then um, I grabbed a piece of white cardstock. And um, I'm going to stamp that flower on the white cardstock as well with the pale tomato. And then we're going to end up cutting that flower out. Now this card is so easy and so fun because um, you can use any images that you have. I think if you had a patterned little heart stamp, you could go over your valley with that and then stamp another heart outside of it. I think it would be just adorable. But anyway, now I'm taking the center, the second layer of the flower, and I'm using bubble gum. And, well, I'm not using bubble gum. I'm actually using the ink bubble gum. <laughs> so I'm stamping the center of the flower. And then I thought, I love uh, brown and pinks. I just, I just love that look. So I decided I'm going to make the inside of those flowers. The stamp is actually, it looks like little sprinkles. So I'm putting chocolate sprinkles on the inside of those flowers. I, I just love the way this looks. Turned out good. Now I'm taking some green fields and I'm stamping the base of our, my leaf here. I stamped two on that separate piece of cardstock and then I'm stamping it on my panel as well. And I'm just stamping it where I think it, it's going to peek out when we when we make a valley on the card. And then just for a little bit more added interest for the second layer of the leaf, I'm adding that cup of joe, that brown ink, to the leaves. Kind of makes them pop a little bit. And this layering stamp, um, I didn't realize, but it was very easy. So if I can find it, um, I'll link it below. Actually, I'll link all the products that I'm using below in the description area for you guys, if I can find it. So I cut out my little flower and leaf, and then I have my panel. So now we need to stamp our sentiment. So in the stamp set, it has a sentiment that says, have a happy day. And I love happy days. So I'm using that cup of joe, and I stamp the sentiment. And then now we're going to work on our valley, which is really easy to do. You just put your panel in your paper trimmer and, and slice it at a diagonal. And then um, this is like a one and a half inch gap. And you want to make sure you line up your paper on your grid line on your trimmer just to get a, a more even cut. And that was it. That's my valley. Now just for a little bit of added interest, I went through my dies and I have a stitch die. This is from Paper Smooches and all it does is gives you a stitch line. It doesn't cut the paper or anything. It just adds stitching. So I thought I would add a little bit of stitching to this brown cardstock just to make the card flow a little bit better because um, you can see here 
you, you can see the stitches just makes it flow better because the outside line of this cardstock has stitching so I thought it would be a nice little accent so I just adhere that to the bottom and I'm trimming off the ends and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the top and then I'm just going to pop both of those panels up with some foam tape very simple and easy to do Okay, now we're going to pop that up and then we're just going to adhere it to our card base. You, on this part you want to make sure that you kind of have them centered really well so they kind of line up just a little bit. And I think just by adding a little valley, you add a lot of elegance to a card. And so I love the way this looks. Lovely. And then with that little flower that I cut out, I already added some dimensional adhesive. And now I'm just curling up the edges of that flower. And I'm going to secure it there along on the, on the top part of the card along with the leaves. And then I'm going to pop the whole thing up with some phone tape. Now, um, I know sometimes it's hard to get a really good look at the cards on the video, but if you want to visit my blog at cardsandcoffeetime.com, there'll be some close-up pictures that are a lot more clear. And you can see the detail and how pretty it is if you want to stop by. But <clears throat> now that I have that done, again, like I said, I'm going to pop that up. Before I do that, I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape. And I'm just going to stick it on a... Um, all my cards are standard A2 size cards, five and a half by four and a quarter. And it's just going to be a white card base. And I think it just looks so pretty and so elegant. Love that. I'm going to take, these are uh, Nouveau Crystal Drops, they're honey gold. And it adds real pretty shine. And I'm just going over those little chocolate sprinkles. Well, it's a cup of Joe sprinkles. I'm thinking chocolate. I'm thinking sprinkles right now. But I'm just going over those and giving it a little bit of shimmer and shine. And then I figured um, while I had it out, I'm going to just add some, some little accents with the honey gold. Add a few drops here and there on the top and the bottom. And then I have a silver stardust pen. It's by Jelly Roll and I love this pen because it's a real fine tip shimmer. It's like a wink of Stella but it has a very fine tip. So I'm just going over the happy on my sentiment making that stand out and then I'm going to go over the top part of that flower. Since the flower does have those lines I thought it would be pretty to add a little bit of shimmer to those. And that's it. That is my Happy Friday card. My little valley card. I hope this inspires you to, to break out your stamps, guys, from your stash and, and create a card using a valley. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe and um, have a wonderful day. Happy Friday, guys. Bye-bye.